Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've dedicated this video to a new painting that I worked on recently and also to celebrate a new addition to our family. As you may have noticed, I've been a bit MIA lately on social media. I've taken some time off from painting and to welcome a new addition to our family. On March 19th, Chloe was born and we're so happy to finally meet her. In light of Easter Sunday, I did a little bunny themed photo shoot with Chloe, Leo, and Luna. Leo is a one year old Holland Lop and Luna is a three month old Mini Rex. There's a lot of misconceptions about bunnies. They can actually be very affectionate and they all have very different personalities. Leo doesn't like being picked up but loves head and back massages, whereas Luna is the complete opposite. She'll gladly let you cuddle and handle her, but is indifferent about those head rubs. And both of them love vegetables and treats. And I feel like I haven't dedicated much attention to them lately because of my pregnancy. So I'm very happy to dedicate this painting to my two fur babies. Chloe is two weeks old today, and being a mother completely changed my mindset on a lot of things. I was always worried that starting a family would get in the way of art, but when I finally met Chloe, it made me realize that family is the most important thing to me, and it actually made me more focused on what's the top priority to me in life. I would have to say though that the sleepless nights and the endless feeds and diaper changes really catches on. And I think one of the biggest challenges with being an artist is the long breaks that we take just because life happens. I've talked to many artists throughout this pandemic and it seems like a lot of us have pauses in our art production from time to time or we just take really long breaks and have a hard time getting back into it. I myself have taken long breaks before when I was in school studying accounting and I thought I had completely quit painting. But what I realized as I painted more throughout the years is that it's all in the mindset. Just tell yourself that it's a break and that you're not quitting. Sometimes the inspiration has to come to you so that you can find it in you to paint again. But it doesn't have to be a groundbreaking inspiration. If you can't think of anything to paint, just work on something small. I've also set up a small painting station in a separate room that's not too far from the nursery. So my art studio is always within reach and it's never out of my sight or my mind. My top priority is my family, but I always know that I can just pick up my paintbrush and get a quick session in while Chloe is napping. Another thing is to keep the momentum going by working on smaller, achievable projects. Instead of working on a large portrait painting, I decided to do this small painting of my bunnies. And it's enough to keep my creative mind going, but it's not too overwhelming where I won't even get into my studio or feel burned out halfway through. I know it's only been two weeks since I went into labor, and it might be too early to say that I'll continuously paint and make videos for the next while, but I'm just going to try my best. And I'm sure some inspiration will come along the way with my little one.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all found this video uplifting like the way I did. Let me know of any questions in the comments below. Enjoy this Easter Sunday. I'll see you next time.